Hello friends, welcome to CSOP Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about how to log in with the Twitter in SV.NET Core application. So let's start. We open our Visual Studio. Here I already create a one blank project for SV.NET Core with the MVC pattern. Uh, so first of all, we need to add a new get package for uh, Twitter. So I um, uh, click on this manage new get packages and we need to add this new get package. So I search it here, go to browse. Uh, currently I am using a sp.net code 2.1. So I am using here currently 2.1.1. Uh, you can use a latest version if you're uh, core is higher versions like a uh, three points or uh, uh, more so i am here i'm choosing it's a uh, 2.1.1 and then click on install now this uh, nuket package uh, is installing into this application this uh, installed so in next step uh, we need to go to this url this uh, is a apps.twitter.com here you can create a, a consumer id and uh, it's a secret key so we need to go here it's taking some time and this is open i click on this here i already create a one uh, sample api uh, id and secret here you can add uh, your uh, uh, applications for uh, client id and client secret here this is for uh, keys and tokens this is for permissions so here this contain all the app icons this twitter descriptions website urls if you have and uh, this for a callback url uh, this is the default sign in Twitter that uh, managed by the sp.net core middleware. Here your uh, website uh, address or your local host as you like and this for only some sample description for our app users. So uh, now I need to use uh, this API key and secret. So we go to here it's a sp setting dot json and here uh, we need to add a authentication and it's a client id and client secret so i'm adding authentication and then twitter Then here I am writing like a client ID. And then it's a client secret. So uh, we copy client ID means this API key. API key is here and this secret key. You can here uh, write any heading name. Now uh, for demo, I am here using a client ID and client secret. So I'm rated here, it's a client ID and client secret. Uh, now in next step, uh, we're going to this startup.cs. Now uh, we need to add some more namespaces for access the Twitter login functionality. So uh, I'm adding here, it's uh, using Microsoft, Microsoft dot extensions microsoft.asp.net core 
डॉट ऑथेंटिकेशन डॉट ट्विटर देन इट्स यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डॉट एस पी नेट को डॉट ऑथेंटिकेशन डॉट कुकीज एंड देन यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डॉट एस पी नेट को डॉट ऑथेंटिकेशन now i am going to this uh, configure service method uh, this section is for a uh, cookie constant cookie constant so can take a minute there is no need for this if you want to enable cookie constant then you can enable it so i am using its service says dot uh, add authentication in options in options dot default scheme default scheme is cookie authentication defaults dot authentication scheme and then options dot default challenge scheme is equal to quitter quitter defaults dot authentication scheme dot add cookies at twitter twitter defaults dot authentication scheme options options and here uh, we provide a like a consumer key and secret it's a uh, options dot consumer keys and then we access a uh, api key and uh, client id and client secret from isp net json file so our part section name is like authentication then it's a twitter and then it's a client id and then options dot then you must secret configuration and same thing is copy here and then we change this uh, client secret then options dot uh, retrieve user details is equal to true this uh, retrieve all the user details uh, that by default provided by your twitter uh, twitter is not providing uh, email address if you want it then you need to uh, request a special permission for this for accessing the email id now uh, we going for this and here we use app dot use authentication authentication now in next step we go to our uh, controller so first of all we need to add this namespaces so i copy it from here then i'm going to this home controller and then paste it here 
here we create some methods for uh, login logout and uh, uh, getting a data from uh, twitter api it's a uh, public async and then task it's login it's save it save it it's a uh, http context http context dot challenge sync dot challenge async then here we adding a twitter defaults twitter defaults dot authentication scheme then new authentication properties here we are writing a redirect uri means uh, after uh, redirected to twitter it's getting data on uh, on which action method so here uh, we writing a action method name that uh, that redirected after getting a data from twitter so here i am creating a method like uh, twitter uh, twitter uh, response then i am getting a method for a twitter response is a public async public async then i am creating this method it's a twitter response it's a task by action result section method name by action result and then it's a quitter response there is a method name like here i am writing a uh, where result is equal to await http context dot authentication authenticate async cookie authentication defaults dot authentication scheme then it's so uh, where uh, claims is equal to result dot principal dot identities dot first or defaults dot claims dot dot select claim new here we providing a different claims like uh, claim dot issuer and then it's a uh, claim dot original issuer and then claim dot type and then claim dot value and then we return this result to json so claims and I, uh, now uh, we need to get uh, one more method for a uh, logout it's a sync task or oh, yes, and result 
and then it's a uh, logout event with http context dot sign out async and then return a redirect to action like uh, i'm returning this after uh, getting a twitter data on uh, about about section now uh, i'm going to view where we create a view for login logout like i'm using this by default created view so here uh, i'm adding uh, one button for for login in its asp area this area is blank here then it's asp controller our controller name is home then asp action our action name is this login And here we're writing a text and then create a list for a logout if context dot user dot identities dot is authenticate list it's uh, like a hello then here we adding their name like uh, identity name user dot uh, identity dot name and then in end the list i'm getting a one button for logout it's asp controller controller name is home and then sp action our action name is this logout then here i'm writing a logout text now we run this application so i'm pressing control f5 for run this by default this calling home index method uh going to this login log it uh, log out it and click on this uh, login button and it's redirected to twitter and then um, get uh, this uh, uh, default information that is uh, provided by your twitter like values and then user ids and this for a twitter value uh, this not providing uh twitter email this uh, information is provided on a special request so this is the complete process for uh, how to log in with a twitter in sv.net core application so if you have any problem any questions please write in comment box i will reply you soon so if you like my videos please click on a subscribe button and also click on notification bell for latest updates so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session.